Hi, today we're going to be looking at the Xiaomi robot vacuum here on my left and the iLife V5 Pro here on my right. Uh, I'm going to be comparing the cleaning performance uh, because somebody requested uh, to compare this, these two robots in terms of cleaning um, bare floor surfaces. So I'll be doing that later on but right now I'll be doing a quick um, overview of the differences between these two and first first thing you'll notice is the size difference uh, the Xiaomi is bigger it's heavier and it has um, a larger um, charging base here this is the charging base for the Xiaomi and this one is for the um, iLife robot vacuum and if you look at the the bin here the Xiaomi has a bigger bin compared to the iLife this is the iLife's bin here this is the Xiaomi's bin um, iLife has a taller bin but it's narrower iLife is wider here both of these have HEPA filtration and the iLife has around 300 ml bin while the Xiaomi is around 420 450 ml um, you can check that in the description below I I'll post links to the product reviews in the description so you can check on that for more details on the different features of these robots but I just want to show you first the, the underside of this robot the Xiaomi has a motorized brush while the iLife does not have one, it has actually it has two side brushes. The Xiaomi only has one. Um, Xiaomi has the um, double V motorized brush, um, meaning it has the bristle and the squeegee here, which is and this is the iLife iLife does not have any motorized brush it has a narrow opening here where the dirt, all the dirt goes in and the, this flaps here that funnel dirt, dirt inside here and two side brushes <clears throat> and I'll do a cleaning test right now I'll scatter around 50 grams of oats and powder around this room and I'll be right back for the first cleaning test I'll be doing is for the Xiaomi robot vacuum and I've scattered 50 grams of oats and powder um, again I've scattered here scattered them here on the edge here and a bunch here in the middle and around the chair legs of the chair and over there at the edge yeah an important factor of picking up a robot vacuum would be the edge cleaning how it does performing the edge and corners Here's another um, view of the dirt I've scattered on this edge near the door. And this is 50 grams and I'll be weighing how much Xiaomi was able to pick up after this cleaning test and I'll be right back.
Okay, um, Xiaomi was able to finish cleaning this room in a little over 12 minutes. Um, again, um, when you buy this robot, make sure you upgrade the firmware and the uh, app. And I'll show you in a separate video how to do that. But right now, let's just focus on this, this room. And this is the big trouble spot for this robot, this edge here. And despite the more thorough um, cleaning algorithm, the improved um, cleaning performance um, still wasn't able to clean this spot here. It was able to clean a lot of the dirt here that I scattered, but um, it left still left a pretty good amount here. But around the rest of the room, it was able to clean most of the dirt. Um, you notice with the upgraded firmware that it does have spot cleaning on areas that has um, lots of dirt. There are stray pieces here. When you look around the chair, it was able to clean pretty much most of the dirt here. I was able to clean up a lot of the dirt here around the chairs and on the edges here. So edge cleaning on a straight line is not a problem um, corner cleaning could be could be an issue um, that's what this test reveals and now let's look at the the bin okay now let's check the the bin here this is the bin and it's almost almost full here and let's just weigh it out see how much it was able to pick up and again the benchmark is 50 grams right now it's at um, 46 grams let me just try to scrape out some some of the dirt here get able to pick up some more it's 47 and let's see if we're able to scrape out some more Roughly around 40, 48, 47, 48 grams. I don't know if you've seen the, saw the weighing scale move to 48. But that's the, uh, more or less, that's the amount of dirt that was able to pick up, 48 grams. And let's move over to the V5 Pro. Okay, now this is the cleaning test for the V5 Pro. I've scattered a similar um, pattern of dirt on the floor here. Uh, your key areas are the corners here, or the edges here, and around the chair, and on the corner over there near the door. Those are the key spots to look out for. The edge cleaning, cleaning around furniture, and edge cleaning over there and I'll get started with the cleaning test right now
Okay, here are, here's the result for the cleaning test of the V5 Pro. And on the edges, it did pretty well. I was able to clean up most of the mess I scattered on the edge and around the, the chairs. Um, pretty much clean up everything here. There are some bits of bits scattered on the floor. Let me just move to the this area here near the door. And you'll see that there are stray pieces of dirt scattered here. But not too much. And the robot has been running for over 20 minutes now, so over 25 minutes, so I decided to um, stop it uh, so that I won't make the video too long. Here's the result of the edge cleaning near the door. There are some scattered bits there. Um, overall, it did a pretty good job. Less efficient, but it did the job nonetheless. And right now, I'll check the, the bin, see how much it picked up. Okay, right now I have the robot in the bin, uh, in the weighing scale, and first let's just look at the bin. I'll just give you a visual of the bin here, and it's pretty much full. Uh, let me just open it here, and this is how much dirt I was able to pick up. And right now, let me just open the bin, uh, open the weighing scale, and see how much it was able to pick up. The benchmark is 50 grams, so let's see how much of it was able to um, pick up on the floor. Right now, it's at 45 grams, and let me just try to scrape this 46 grams. If I'm not mistaken, the Xiaomi was able to pick up right around 48, for, between 47 and 48 grams. And this robot was able to pick up 46, 46 grams of dirt, which is pretty close to the Mi Robot Vacuum. So I hope this answers your question of the performance of the V5 Pro. When you compare it to the Xiaomi, it was able to do its um, it was able to pick up um, the performance isn't far off the Xiaomi cleaning performance isn't far off mm, it's just it's less efficient it takes more time to clean a room because it has the random cleaning pattern but if you're looking for for something that's cheaper than the Xiaomi that performs as well or close to it on bare floor then and the V5 Pro is a good option. It doesn't have any motorized brush, so that's one less maintenance work you have to worry about. And for more information about both of these products, check out the description below. And thanks again for watching.